What's going on YouTube? Justin right here. So in today's video we're talking about Pengu Jailbreak Team and of course their latest jailbreak achievements. This video is brought to you by Anyfix, a software created to fix iOS issues and of course it supports iPhone, iPad, Apple TV and stuff like that. It can also fix iTunes errors and of course it can enter exit recovery mode and reset your device. Definitely check it out in the link below, it's easy to use. So do you remember the Pengu Jailbreak Team? They used to create the Pengu Jailbreak which was actually very good. Good. They have a pretty good history in the jailbreak community. They made the first iOS 7.1.2 jailbreak. They also made the first iOS 8.0 to 8.1 jailbreak and 9.0 to 9.1. And their latest release was for 9.3, 9.3.3 and stuff like that. So they used to be a very good jailbreak team and they used to support a lot of devices, even the newest devices. And most of their jailbreaks were untethered. Pretty good jailbreak team. Well, they haven't been active for quite some time in the jailbreak community, aside from some security research on on SEP and stuff like that. But today Min Spark Zeng, a security researcher focused on iOS and stuff like that, posted this quote, cool, iOS 14 GM or gold master, pawned by Wong Tailei from Pangu team yesterday. And he posted the screenshot from a post made by Pangu team in Chinese, where they talk about zero day for iOS 14 beta 1 to 14 GM and stuff like that. But they also posted this, which is more important, which is a screenshot of iOS 14 running SSH, which is of course a component of a jailbreak with no problem and they also run a couple of commands like uname a, sysctl-a and stuff like that so they do prove the fact that they have SSH. And of course iOS 14 was released yesterday officially, it says in here iOS 14.0. So right now iOS 14.0 and 13.7 are supported and are available if you want to install them. So even if you updated the iOS 14.0 you can still downgrade for a short period of time to 13.7. However iOS 14 and iPadOS 14 definitely look very interesting for jailbreak purposes. Many security researchers in our community, in the jailbreak community, have announced that iOS 14 does put a lot of problems for the jailbreak community. It does give a lot of pain for the jailbreak developers to update their applications because there are new mitigations in iOS 14 that we should keep in mind. However, there are also a lot of bugs that have been patched, which makes me completely not recommend iOS 14 for anybody who is interested in jailbreaking because it may take a while before we get any app update for the Uncover or for Odyssey and even for Checkrain of all things for iOS 14. The reason for that is the new mitigations that are present in the iOS 14 which makes it a very bad target for jailbreaking right now. For those of you who do not know, the Checkrain jailbreak happens to use a bootroom exploit which means that it's completely unpatchable. So what happened? Did they patch it? Well, they didn't, they can't. But Apple did manage to make it harder for the jailbreak community to create a jailbreak for iOS 14 and therefore we still don't have an update for the check rain jailbreak, not even today, even though the iOS 14 has been on beta for a couple of months now, and even though we have a bootroom exploit for iOS 14, which means that we would be able to jailbreak it with no problem, but there are still mitigations before we can get a jailbreak for check rain, though it's 100% sure that we will get an update for check rain at some point in the near future, because we already have the exploit for iOS 14, which is publicly available. However, if you are team uncover or Team Odyssey, you may need to wait a little bit more, in fact quite a lot more, before you can get the update for iOS 14. So between iOS 13.7 and 14.0 I would definitely advise you to stay on 13.7 because iOS 14 does patch a lot of things and even though Pengu has achieved a jailbreak for iOS 14 and they managed to even get SSH as you can see from here, so they are pretty far advanced, it's unknown for now whether they're going to release it or not because they haven't been releasing any jailbreaks lately. This jailbreaks that you can see here for the Pangu jailbreak, those were released back on iOS 9 era. They stopped releasing jailbreaks when iOS 10 came out and they never had ever since. So I wouldn't hope too much for this jailbreak to be released. Though their post is important because it goes to show that iOS 14 can be jailbroken. Now if you take a look here on the security contents and if you search for iBoot, you can see that they do acknowledge Brendan Azad of Google Project Zero for their assistance on probably reporting a bug for iBoot and for the current now, the kernel is nothing special. We do have a lot of kernel vulnerabilities that are patched in every 
every update. iBoot though is not something you see very often. This is much more low level than the kernel and an iBoot exploit is definitely able to run custom made firmware and therefore much more dangerous than a kernel exploit. So they do patch pretty beefy stuff in iOS 14.0 which of course is bad news for us the people who want to jailbreak. So I would definitely advise you to stay on 13.7 even though Pango managed to jailbreak 14 in here and there's also the ABC research who claims that they have a 14.0 jailbreak achieved but again no word on any release. So if you want to play it safe I would stay on 13.7 because if you remember we have this bug in here from this developer who announced they have a 13.6.1, 13.7 also bug for the iPhone 11 Pro Max which is A13 which of course works on lower as well and that gave them the kernel read and write primitives which of course can be used for a jailbreak that they even demonstrated in this video in here. You can see their jailbreak being demonstrated and of course they also achieved SSH. So between iOS 13.7 and 14.0 I would definitely stay on 13.7 though if you have upgraded already downgrade right now. So I would definitely play it safe and stay on 13.7. Pango team's achievement is actually quite great. They managed to jailbreak iOS 14 on the day of the release which is incredible and it means a lot for the jailbreak community it means that we can still jailbreak it even though Apple introduced a lot of mitigations which also made check rain teams job a little bit harder for the support for iOS 14 but that doesn't mean we're going to get that jailbreak right away from Pango so definitely play it safe and stay on 13.7 or lower thank you for watching I am GS Snow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out